because sometimes the most the most obvious of hey, there it is. Yep, I've been looking for this. I thought maybe you put it there, so you probably. I did. Oh, you did do that. Okay. That's why the most obvious of things are always elusive. Hi, sweetie. Huh? You got your you got a Newtown football shirt on. Two shirts. I think we need some long sleeve shirts. Maybe they're getting washed, or maybe. You know what? I have a whole a whole bin of them right in the other room, and I'm in the process of getting them. I doubled up on them. That's okay. Do you need, do you need another shirt? No, I'm not for that. Oh, I mean, it's up to you. I mean, I can put it. I can take one of these off and put a long sleeve. I'll or? get them. On, no, I just. You know what? There's just not room in his drawers, so I have to. I just. I have to work at it, doing everything here. And here's some. Here's some winter clothes. It's hard when you have two, so many seasons in such a small dresser. Maybe I need a new dresser. Hold on, Chris. I'm coming. Oh, here's some warmies. This one's warm, and, and you can maybe take one of these shirts yeah. off. So and keep that one on, and it'll match the gray. That's what I'll do. That's what we'll do. We went to a marching band competition. I told you that, it's right? midnight, right? Yes, it was so nice. But we were so bundled up. We were too bundled up. Is it... It's a little chilly out there. You want a hat? <coughs> Mom's gonna make you a haircut appointment. Huh? Are you tired? What about his... You're gonna have to wait, dog. Nah. Does he go or do you go? Or both? No, we all go. Mommy and John and Thomas. Not me. It's no. It's really boring. You guys would be. It's like the end of the year awards and stuff like that. Oh, nice. Hi. Nice. You sleepy all day today. You sleepy all day? You sleepy all day? You totally nodded out in like a couple glasses. Yeah, you sleepy? I gotta run to the store. Because, like, suddenly your brother needs a shirt to wear tonight. Yeah. Of course, right? What's he need? That's how it works. What kind of shirt does he need? Okie dokie. I have to run over to Target because Thomas is a band banquet. And apparently he needs a shirt now. <laughs> no, I knew this earlier. I just, you know what? I got so distracted. <sighs> I'm doing everything I can. Just keep myself moving, keep going, keep productive. I, well, I actually did get a lot accomplished in my house, but I didn't go to work today because I just needed to get some Daniel phone calls made and some bills taken care of. Some bills. I have a lot. It's a crazy, it's a crazy time right now. So Daniel's okay, he's just really, really tired today. I hope he's all right. I kept saying this, was it yesterday? Yeah, he was like kind of out of it. Um, it's always a concern because he could just be out of it and be like, eh, you know, not, not quite on, or he could be coming down with something. So you just have to really be on top of everything. Anyway, so I did post a couple of videos, one was, the day of the election and the other one was just a one take my immediate reaction after coming out of therapy for it, it just happened that my therapy session fell the morning after the election so it was a pretty good topic to talk about you know when you're upset and so the the video was just basically my immediate reaction to how I was feeling and my fears and concerns and uh, you guys have been really, really, really supportive, and I really appreciate that. I am a person of reason. I know that we have to give the government a chance, whatever, you know. And it was especially, I have to be honest with you, a little bit hopeful when he turned around and said he wasn't going to appeal Obamacare, that he was going to change it, alter it, you know, and he was going to keep certain provisions of it and that kind of thing. So. It made more sense and it was certainly helpful, <laughs> at least in the short term, for people like me who were, who were like freaking out for months because get rid of Medicaid and Obamacare basically meant get rid of Daniel's benefits and then what am I supposed to do, you know? I'm trying to set a good example for my kids and then you, you just, I haven't turned on my TV you guys since Tuesday. Tuesday was the election, right? I have not, I have this like thing with my TV. I'm like not watching the news. I'm, I think the media sucks. I think the media scared me. I think the media scared other people. I think it's turning people against each other. Neither candidate was ideal. And 
the the split the 50 50 split basically <laughs> is like half the people wanted to vote for hillary because they didn't like trump or how the other half wanted to vote for trump because they hated hillary and it's like yeah i totally get that for me it was just it was platform and policy related really and ideology like it wasn't and and, and as, if you're somebody like me that's got concerns and cares like i do and on top of it they're building him up to be this monster you know who wants a monster that's going to take away your health care of course i wouldn't vote for him because of my personal situation you know doesn't mean i'm a bad person or i'm stupid this guy is like you're uneducated this guy just posted on my vlog and the, the whole purpose for the one take after the election was to show you guys how I felt, which was was really unlike me. I mean, I was just completely like in a freak out stage. And then I basically explained in, at the end that I, you know, we need to care about each other and then I pulled myself out of it. We have to, we have to be change agents or whatever and be positive. But then someone, this guy, post this like hateful message about Killary being the queen of I don't know what the hell he would do. Oh this is we did that. That's nice.
Um, yeah, trumpets, you know, you guys are always like this, you know, this huge, powerful section in the band. We rely on you guys. Um, uh, fantastic work, positive energy this year. So we went to this banquet tonight, and it was for the band kids and their parents, but it was so long. So I was glad I got to leave early because Chris had to go home. It, was, it gets long. It's like nice, really, really nice. But they do their presentation of um, regular awards, and then the kids do superlatives, and it's like all after you've eaten and had food and... and <laughs> And so I had to leave to get to Chris because Chris was here um, and I had to go home. And Dale was asleep and he was ready to go. So I got home. But then he woke up because he heard me. So we've been just kind of talking about it. It wasn't fun. Like you would have been bored because it was just people sitting in a room, Daniel, talking. It wasn't even music. It was just. Da, 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 these are the seniors. Congratulations. We love you. Da, 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 thank you for your hard work. Da, 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 you know, that kind of thing. Did Chris put you in the big chair? Are you going to ignore me now and go to sleep? Please be quiet. Okay, I think uh, I will take from that that Daniel would like to go to sleep now. He looks very sleepy, doesn't he? <laughs> He's so sweet. He's in here in the dark. Look at me. I was like, oh, hi. You're awake, which is not good because you were sleeping, but nice because... We could talk for a while. Oh. Tomorrow he's going to... I don't know. He's got an appointment at 11 with it. I've got a, a vendor coming <laughs> to work on ordering a whole bunch of stuff for him. A new mattress for his bed. We're revisiting our whole uh, sling system because the existing sling that came with his original lift hurts his back. Makes him kind of hunch over and hurt his spinal fusion. He needs to have it a little straighter. You know, so then... It's not effective because when we put him in the sling, he he feels uncomfortable and he gets upset and starts to extend. So we're going to look for something that might be more suitable for his uh, posture. And what else? Huh?